everyone, this is Wobbly Wallaby, and today I'm going to analyze the time machine for the December 10th, 2021 to March 10th, 2022 time period. I'll discuss which headgears are the best and also provide free to play alternatives so you can see if there are suitable substitutions. I'll be looking at both the Global and Southeast Asia time machine. The C time machine is slightly different and has some additional headgear. There are a lot of headgear in the time machine, but a lot of them are actually really bad. First, I'll go over the head items of interest. First is Fire Lord's Emblem. If you're doing fire damage, this head item is hard to beat because 10% more fire damage is a lot. Two generic free-to-play head items for magic classes are Coif for magic damage plus 5% or the Golden Dragon Crown for 4% magic penetration. The advantage of these head items is they aren't tied to the fire element, so in case you need to switch to different elements when fighting different monsters or bosses, the head items are still beneficial. I used the Golden Dragon Crown quite a bit in this video. If you don't know where to get it, it's from the Wasteland map, and you can craft it from the Yggdrasil tree. Next is Moonlight Prophecy. This was a great auto attack head item back in the day. However, in recent episodes, more auto attack damaging head items have come out. The attack speed and extra critical have become less important as the maximum level has increased which gave us more attribute points to invest. This gave us more points to invest in luck for critical and agi for attack speed. Two free to play alternatives to consider are Maple Colored Phantom and Luminous Niche. Maple Colored Phantom has slightly lower auto attack damage but has more attack speed due to the additional agi. This is a cheap option which is friendly for new players. For Luminous Niche, this is a head I use on my free to play style hunter. The 4% auto attack damage is nice, and if you refine it to 10, 8% auto attack damage is really good. Next is Time Opal. It provides 350 SP and SP regen plus 20%. If you're desperate to have an SP style hunter for PvP and don't have any better head items, this one is okay. For free to play alternatives, if you only care about SP regen, then get the Love Light Bulb. If you want more SP, then a common SP Stellar Hunter head is the Gentleman's Top Hat, which provides great SP percent increase, however it is expensive to get and refine. Next is Thunder God's Kabuto. If you do PvP, then causing stun during auto attack and doing 10% more damage to a stun target is great. If you're not an auto attacker or not doing PvP, then it's not so great. Bosses are immune to stun, so this effect is worthless against them. You're better off using the free to play alternative, the Golden Dragon Crown, which has the same physical penetration of plus 4% and can also add plus 1 to all attributes. Next is Ceremony Toffee Candy. This is a great headwear for saints and other classes that want damage reduction and defensive buffs. No other head item has a mix of survivability and I do see people use it currently. For free to play alternatives, nothing comes close. So if you want more survivability, I'd use the Fox Ears Bell Ribbon for max HP plus 5%. If I'm doing PvP where human damage reduction matters, then having a plus 5 refine or higher Midgard's Helm is good. Next is Norma the Unicorn. This is one of the best head items back in the day due to its skill damage and movement speed increase. Even to this day, this item has higher damage than some of the other gotchas. This item is especially good for Novice Guardian, since an increase in move speed also increases its damage. Of all the items in the time machine, this has got to be my favorite, and it is a safe bet for many classes due to its unique buffs. For free to play alternatives, unfortunately nothing adds both move speed and a significant damage increase. As a result, I'll go for damage increasing head items such as a high refined White Knight Helm which is great versus MVPs. For other targets, I find the Golden Dragon Crown for the 4% penetration percent increase is quite good as well. Next, the Southeast Asia server had access to Dawn Flute. If we're able to refine it to plus 6, then 8% penetration is really good. It is a solid head item overall and I still see it in use today. For free to play alternatives, it is difficult, so I'll just recommend the White Knight Helm versus bosses and the Golden Dragon Crown for other things. Next are back items. First is Bright Light. 
it adds great magic attack percentage and attack speed percent increase. This is great for Chronomancers. The first free to play alternative is the Ancient One Staff for 8% magic attack and plus 10 int. This was an event item, so it isn't available on new servers such as Destiny's Promise. It doesn't have the attack speed percent increase, but then again, you don't need it to refine to plus 6 for it to be good. I always use the Ancient One Staff when I create a free to play magic class because it is just too good. If you don't have access to the Ancient One Staff, then Soul's Music for 5% magic attack is okay too. Next is Starlight Sweetie. You get damage to all races plus 5% and you can put someone to sleep with higher HP than you and still damage that person. This is great for PvP, but not so much for PvE, since bosses are immune to sleep. This effect can save your life in PvP if you're low on health and someone is about to land the final blow. You can put them to sleep for 3 seconds if you attack them, and then you can either run away or attack them. The free to play alternatives I would use are Devil Wings for 5% damage or the Baby Owl for penetration plus 5%. Next is Ceremony Candyland. If you really need job EXP, then this back item is great. However, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it since there are plenty of other ways to get extra job EXP, such as double EXP potions or buying Saint's gear with Zenny to get more job EXP. There are no free to play back alternatives that provide job EXP. The C server has the Starfield Poem, which gives Holy Element damage plus 10%. The free to play alternative is the Gold Christmas Bell, which provides Holy Damage plus 8%. Next is Lost Star Track. It has Magic Penetration plus 5%, Ignore Magic Defense 5%, and minus 10% to cast time variable when refined to 6. This is popular back in the day, and as a Magic user, this is one of the best back items in this time machine. For free to play alternatives, you can use the Parasite Swing, which has Magic Penetration and Ignore Magic Defense plus 3%. You can also get the Baby Owl for 5% magic penetration if you have enough Ignore Magic Defense. Next is Thunder Tycho, which has quite a lengthy effect. It will provide physical and magic damage plus 5%, and when auto attacking, you can cause a stackable encourage buff for you and your party for a maximum of 8% magic and physical attack and 8% move speed. If you're not doing auto attack, then don't invest in this. The free to play alternatives are comparable. If you are doing auto attack, I think this is only good if you're facing a tough boss where the conditions of stacking 8 encourage buffs can actually happen. Also, if you have people around you, this is great for helping them as well, but personally, I would prefer a back item that is stronger without any conditions attached to it. For free to play back items, you can try the Devil Wing for 5% damage and magic damage. Another alternative is the Vow of the Sea for skill damage plus 4%. Next are face items. First is Dancing Flame. This is a great item if you're using fire elements. It has magic penetration plus 5% and fire elemental damage plus 5%. When doing auto attack, it can also apply a burn effect. This is another face item that is hard to find free to play alternatives for. You can use High Refined Monocle for high magic attack percentage or Silent Sinking which is a good alternative for skill damage too. On the Southeast Asia server, Loot Goggles is also available. It provides extra job EXP, and again I wouldn't go out of my way to get this. No free to play face exists for adding more job EXP. Next are mouth items. The free to play alternatives are difficult for mouth items. The two generic ones I'm going to recommend for both are Butterfly's Breath and Abyss Whisper. Against bosses, the Butterfly's Breath plus 5% damage to bosses is really good. You can get this from doing the Eclash quests. Also, you can use the Abyss Whisper for attack and magic attack plus 3%. The first is Night Silence, which I saw used back in the day for auto attackers. Personally, I haven't seen this being used much anymore, so I would be a bit cautious when buying this. The C server does not have this item. Next is Ceremony Spinning Sweet Dream. This is a great mouth for magic users due to its magic penetration plus 4% and extra magic attack. This is a solid and safe purchase since magic penetration is a big damage booster. Next are tail items. 
the free-to-play alternatives are difficult for Tails. The two generic ones I'm going to recommend for all of these Tails are Summer Banana Split and Sea Soul's Tail. Against MVPs, a high refined Summer Banana Split does well. If you're using an elemental type, the Sea Soul's Tail adds some great damage. The first one is Wind Chimes. The 10% damage to formless monsters is quite good. There are many bosses that are formless, such as Thanatos Tower's Tesseract or Rune Master. In Panape Museum, the late king's chest knight is also formless. Next is Prince of Thunder, which is great for its wind elemental damage plus 8% and extended stun effect. This was the tail I used for a novice guardian for the longest time, until I bought the tail that I'm discussing next. The last item is Flying Quarterback. In my opinion, this is one of the best tails in the game due to its damage increase and faster move speed. This is great if you're boss hunting, and even better if you're a novice guardian. The increased move speed will contribute to more damage. I've also seen many other classes use this, since having more move speed is fantastic. That is all the headgear of interest for this period. I hope you learned which headgear are good and the free-to-play alternatives. Good luck with your rolls! Which headgear did you think was the best? Let me know in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.